No. Um, yeah, a little bit of a surprise stream, but, um, yeah, last Thursday I was very tired, so I didn't do a stream, and tomorrow is my holiday. So, yeah, I thought, let's do some Haskell, shall we? Um, so the plan for today is going to be something light, I guess. I mean, I want to fix uh, these two box here. And then I have a sprite, a cute sprite, that I'm not sure if it's going to work for the flying enemy. And I would like to give it that a go, see how it goes, see how it works. Okay, so, so the first thing we're going to try to find out is... Um, I think it's... We can reproduce the problem here, I think. Um, okay, so too many enemies. Oh, there you go. Let's get rid of this one. Then let's move the player here. And this guy. Uh, okay, no. Let's put the player here. We don't care about the robot too much. And then this tracker, we can put it here. And this tracker is going to try to jump here. And it's not going to be a good jump, I think. Okay, so let's try that. So it's coming. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that is. That is the issue I want to fix first. Why did it do that? Okay. Oh, I see what it is. Is because of this so we check in the middle point on the sprite and that is not correct and it's actually not correct when we do the when we run the gravity okay so let's look at the code of the runner somewhere in so the runner, see, is checking x minus one when we find in where the direction is left. When the direction is right, is x plus plus sixteen. But here we check the middle point. So that's basically why it doesn't work. Well, it works, but it's not working properly. <clears throat> So, I guess... We can do... Oh, how do we call this? Uh, oh... Target X um, is going to be if the direction is left, then it's going to be. Uh, oh, wait a minute. <coughs> Why were you using E and end here? No, it should be always E. Wait a minute. Okay, so does that make a difference? Oh, I left one behind. Because end 
no, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, okay. That was wrong anyway, because we, we update the runner and then we get a copy of the entity, right? So that's the one, that's the one we want to use in the tracker because it's the entity that has been updated. So yeah, using those was not right. And we need to do, use this here. So, so, but we can use E. It has to be a function. So, so given an entity, we're going to return an integer. So, we can call it A. A. E, right? So, if the direction is left, so it's going to be that. Else, otherwise, it's going to be this one. And then instead of doing this, um, okay, wait a minute. Hope we call this. Target X is not a good name. It's blocked X. Ah, no. Or maybe. Does the song wrong to call it? Like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it may be confusing. It may be confusing. Ah, okay. Let's think of it the name. Well, let's see if this one, this is fixing the problem already, because I think it, it is. Ah. All right. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I see. I see why. Because we jump after after changing direction. So in here has to be the other way around. Sorry, I don't know. So minus one is the next style. Yeah, but that's when we're going to jump. And in order to jump, we need to ensure that we can land on top. So I guess we need to check the X value. In any case. So we don't need to add anything. So that means that we are aligned. Is that correct? Is that correct though? I mean, it's going to work now, but I'm not sure it's going to be correct also. In, you know, when it's moving right. No, it's not. And also it's kind of funny. Okay. So we might need to go back to what we have here because we need to do some change. <clears throat> I'm confused. So, oh, okay, because I just did it the wrong way. Left is plus 16. Okay, so maybe I wasn't right the first time. <clears throat> Is that I, I I put the conditions the the condition wrong. Right. <clears throat> okay. That looks good now. Um so get this guy, let's get this guy and put it to 
way hard. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, we can we can prepare something here. Oh, brilliant. Okay, 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 okay. So we can just. Uh, so what it works here is that. Okay, so we want to do. We want to put things as 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 blocked. So. If I do this line, for example, um, which is going to be no, this is not what <laughs> we testing. No, 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 all wrong, all wrong. Tracker has to be. I don't know, really, because it's going to try to jump. But it can in here because there is no okay. So I can put it here and then in blocked I can just clean this so there is no nowhere to jump. Alright. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. That, that's it. Okay, so this is fixed. Um, we can we get rid of the map and reload? Yeah, we can because we tested that. So in here, fix timing when jumping. Okay. So that was quick. <coughs> <coughs> now the pickups should be drawn last. This is because if I duplicate this one, it's going to be the last. It's going to be the last uh, entity I added the map. Mm, I'm confused now. What? That's not what we saw the other day, isn't it? There is something something I must see something what can be it I think there is something weird because I definitely saw I mean that's probably the video on on Twitch There was one of these guys could be in the, the different in a different map. <clears throat> no, because this guy this map doesn't have uh, free roaming enemies. They only have pattern based. So it was not here. And this is the same map. Again. Hmm. 
Well, I don't understand. There must be a way of them that this is weird. Because it's not the runner. Or cast is the runner, right? No. <clears throat> I'm not doing any sorting. Okay, so so this is where the map has entity, battery entity, prime entity. Now this order, I believe, it, it doesn't make you know is irrelevant really. So I think it's just in the order that we are parsing them. And for that. Yeah, slime, 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 robot, 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 slime, battery. So that means that if I put the slime here, Huh. Okay, well, maybe not a slime. Uh, objects. Okay. They have a different order here. Oh. No. So. There are no slimes. After. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. So the robot has ID 24 and the battery has ID 10. So that's not going to do it. Let's find. So the battery has ID 10. Yeah, but that's what we did, right? So this has ID 37. If I copy the ID, the, so now that one this has 43. It's even after the player. <clears throat> All right, well, I definitely saw a problem with the order, but I can't reproduce it now. Um, I mean, that's the behavior we want, right? But I don't want it to happen accidentally. So uh, what can we do about that? Hmm. So what do we do with the objects here? Do we do anything special when we load them? So we ask for object is a vector to list. Fine, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when we load the JSON file. I don't think we do anything really. So filter object layer, we get the object layer. And we just get the objects. Yep. Which is a vector of an object. So objects join vector maybe filter object layer. We're not doing any sorting.
that means that whatever the vector is doing well the vector is sorted right it's like a sorted list i think mm. well, let's take a look i'm not completely sure yeah of course i mean right? The, isn't, otherwise it will be a set right or something different so it has to be sorted uh, blah, 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 blah. list like operations and book array operation yeah 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 i think it's fine uh okay now we are here do we have a Well, I don't know how to do this, but there must be a, a, a property somewhere that we can use. Okay. Uh, okay, so there is an order here. Equality and order. Why did I, do, did I use this? Uh, for totally order data types. Okay, so what is the order? Uh, order in drift order instances. The order in data type, a single information between the precise order in two objects. So, why did it do that with the entity types? Just because I'm sorting them somewhere? Hmm. But then. I saw that in the video, so that must be, in the, it has to be in the video. I saw that in the session that there was one of the batteries was drawn on top of one of the moving enemies. And I don't want that. But I can't seem to be able to reproduce that. So, I wonder, I mean, this is not, it's filtering object layer, uh, it's just getting just objects, and that's it, and we got the objects here in the map data, uh, and this is, this is actually what we are returning, we're returning, yes, oh no, wait a minute, no, yeah, just made that. No, we return IO map. And the map is mapped with map data. So we don't touch that ever again. Uh, when we list the objects. All right. Okay, so let's see if entities is doing something funny with this. So entities. Make entities. There you go. There you go, there's a sword here. What? That's why I put the ore. So, it is sorted. Uh, but, what is the order, I guess? So, we don't care about the player. Well, then, it's never going. I, I might be wrong. I think I'm wrong. Then doesn't make any sense. So for the player, we don't care because the player is always the first in the list and for updating. But when I draw it, when I draw, when I render, baseball, uh, yeah, we rent others, which is everything but not the player. The player is always the head of the list of the list. Um, so we don't care. And if they're sorted, I assume that this is the order. So first will be the battery entity, which is the first to draw. That's why it's in the background. And then the others on that order. I mean we can actually check that. So the slime is always behind the robot. Is that right? So, is the slime always behind the robot? Hmm. 
Oopsie. Oh, wow. Well, that one it is. Do I have another one? Another case of a slime and robot. Oh, that's wrong. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I can't prove it, so... I can't prove it. So I don't know if it's actually a problem or not. So for now, it's not, it's not a problem. Now I want to know why was that guy jumping over there? That was not something I was expecting, is it? Is that something I have broken now? It was a stock jumping here. Huh. 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 What? So it's facing it's facing right. Um no. Is the dragon so it's facing right? What the hell? This is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. So if he's facing left, it's minus one. Which is what I did the first time. Otherwise, it's plus sixteen. Yeah, but we just we just check that. You know, we check that 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 didn't fix the problem. All right, but I, I changed the... Mm, 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 mm. So we need this tracker here and the player is fine there. Okay. <sighs> yeah, that was too easy. Okay, so that is wrong. Why is that wrong? It's facing right. And we check in. Yeah, but it's not correct, because if he's facing right, it's blocked X. It's used when we check in that it's not blocked where we're going, and it's blocked the floor. So it should be detecting this one is blocked, this one is not. Uh, if it's... <laughs> Okay, let's, let me do this a little bit more readable. And now it's going to be the same. Okay, let's do it. This is slightly more readable, a little bit, I think. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Okay. So if it's facing right, which is the case we're looking at, we can look. So we need to look that most of the player body has passed right so i guess
is this is what we're checking absolutely no facing left so facing left we're looking at most of the body and then facing right is most of the body has passed all right okay is that right what were we so we're checking yeah it's the same i didn't change anything uh so what is going on i guess it's stuck in here so all right so let's try to let's try to so if i block this that's not blocked anymore can we reproduce the problem man what i'm missing this should be super simple so it doesn't do it What is different here? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, what about like this? So it goes up, then it falls. Okay, ah. Uh, So it goes up, then it falls. And it gets a stop. How? Uh, I guess. I guess. I need to do something like this. No, um, okay, so uh -oh. it's more like jumping or turn, right? See, this is not quite right anyway because did it, did it push? Yeah, I did push. Too quick. Cool, I mean, they're coming. Mm. Yeah, I think the problem is that we need to do like this. So, yeah, this is not quite right because... Um, so this is the one that is deciding if we need to jump or turn, right? And... The conditions are different to to this, which is basically we decided we're going to jump. And it's not great. So we need to do the same check we're doing here. I think so try jumping or or, or turn so this is gravity down so that's not jumping this is the one that is jumping and what are we checking we're checking the same so well gravity is off then it's not blocked the so what is that? So what is not blocked? Y minus one. So I minus one. Okay, so this one is not blocked because it's when we're going to land. And the bottom one has to be blocked. Yeah, correct. Now, this is not working.
because uh, because in this case here so we are facing right so we checked x minus 1 But it's not the case, right? Okay, what is the what is the stars? It tries to jump. Mm. Why? Okay, let's do something because I can't really see. Let's let's make clear. Let's make clear that this is okay what if i do it in the right layer <laughs> okay so we can have so we have a visual cue right so why keep jumping it's because it's looking it's facing right and x minus 1 no but that's not true x minus 1 i don't i don't see it so it's checking the X minus one is not blocked. Is not blocked. And and is that correct then? Yeah. Is blocked. But it's not true, is it? I don't understand. Something funny, and I don't see it. <laughs> huh? Why he keeps jumping? I mean. So it's facing, it's facing left. Oh shit! I'm I'm looking at it wrong. It's facing left. So yeah, it's checking the end, and that's not right. Because it's overlapping the block when it's falling. So that could be a problem with the gravity, really. But yeah, I don't want to touch that. That will get us in trouble. So um, we need to deal with it here. Uh, so oh, let's think about that. Mm. So, OK. So I guess we can check the points. Because we're checking the last point, but it has to be also true for the center, right? For the middle point. So, so it's not Any of these, which is a x plus eight. So that is, can I make it look nicer, please? Maybe? Okay, slightly better. So is none of this is true right and so it's 
So it's not okay. So no, it's and right. <laughs> So bo both are blocked, the opposite, no, that's not what we want, it's not and not, okay, uh, okay, can I do, no, I can't, I need to use the parentheses, otherwise, it's getting confused. So it's not blocked. The other one is not blocked either. So there's full platform to land. Sorry. Yeah, there is a space to land. And this is also true. So. All right. So now it's not going to jump until, yeah, because it's going to register the the last part of the sprite. Okay, and that jump was very nice. So that looks promising. Okay, now we need to check the other cases, right? So we break here. And then, ooh, slow this. So let's get the player here. And we get the tracker right here. And we try it now. Cool. And the other case was, what was the other case? The other case was harder to test, isn't it? What did what did I do to test the other case? Mm. All right, okay. So we get rid of some stuff. Stuff. We put this guy here. Don't flip. Don't go the other way. And then in blocked. We are going to ensure that ensure that we can jump there like this, and we go down. All right, something like this. Okay, that looks fine. Oh, can you see that? Man. Okay, okay, so this is fixed now. So I'm going to... No, that's not what I wanted. Now that's properly fixed. And the other problem, that was not a problem, but we have a problem now with this stuff here. Okay, so we see if I can fix it quickly, otherwise it's just going to be just about fixing. Oh no. Ooh, careful with that. Okay. I can't believe I didn't try this. Oh, look at that. What's going on? And it's because x16 per 16. This is happening as well in the animations. Of in not any background animation is going to have that problem. Okay. 
and I didn't notice when I implemented it. So, yeah, because we are not going to see it on this side. And in the other side, it's not happening. Let me see. No. Okay. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, and it's happening because there is a bug in the map render. How do I fix this now? Huh. How do I fix this? It's a problem with the renderer. And the problem is that these tiles here that we can see because I put them, these tiles are They are not 8 by 8, they are 16 by 16. So it means it means that when the X is out of the viewport, I'm not drawing it, but I need to because it's not 8 pixels, it's 16. And that means that in the render here, Clipping because we draw one extra row call because the scroll. You see. And that is here. We draw one extra row call. And we do that, but we need to do two because otherwise we get the problem with the clipping. So, um, da, 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 da. oh, X. And draw, draw with, I don't know, man. I don't know, really. We also need to check that X is bigger than zero. No. That's not true. It's more like this. It's more like that. Yeah. And... Uh, no, it's only in the, yeah, in the vertical could happen exactly the same, right? So this should fix it and it shouldn't break anything, I think. No, actually this is wrong. That's why it was not wrong. Ah, man, I didn't think about that when I did the support for, for those tile sets. I mean, it's cool being able to support different sets of tile sets, especially for the animations, but I mean, obviously now it's kind of a problem. Yeah, I, we need to draw one more. So the problem in the, on the left is fixed now. But now, the draw width, it has to be, uh, view precise in tiles. <laughs> this 
this is not going to be correct, is it? Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. No, it's actually, it's actually okay. The problem is that, that I fixed on one side, but I didn't fix it on the other. I think that's what is happening. Okay. And I think I made the same mistake uh, in the vertical, but because I don't plan to do vertical scrolling, I, I didn't pay much attention to that one. Okay, don't jump into the toxic stuff. Okay, that, that side is fine. And the other one looks okay as well. And I don't think we're going to have the same problem. If I get this. And if I put it, for example, here. No, not there. Uh, one minute. What did I do? Oh, because, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so if I put it here, maybe. it doesn't matter what it is. I just want to know that, you know, on the other side, it's not causing problems either. No, it's not, see? I might need a cheat mode, really, to test this. Anyway, I think it's fine now. I mean, like, it was fi fine when I fixed the other bug and I didn't fix it, right? I mean, I think it's fine. And also... And also, can we break a stuff now? No, because, you know, when we are checking the tile from the vector we are anyway filtering the limit of you know if it's less than zero you know auto bounds in the vector you know when we access the item so we're checking that which is something we were not checking properly before uh but i guess it couldn't really fail could it yeah i mean in reality Okay, yes. I don't want to try that now, but... Okay, so... Can we actually try that? Yeah, let's try that. Plasma! So, let's do, for example, 30 times. Why not? And then, in base... Does it matter if I break it? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, so first of all, that's not the tile set I should be using. It's this one. I mean, just a quick test. I shouldn't be drawing all this stuff. For a quick test, right? I don't know. I mean, if it works and I like it, I might keep it. So... Uh, okay. So this is not quite right, but... It doesn't matter. I just want to check that... shadows and then now it's in blocked right this one is blocked this stuff is blocked this stuff is blocked this one as well and we're going to open a gap here but it's, this is going to be a little bit rubbish because actually everything is wrong this is wrong and 
this is wrong as well and it's because the size I put it was is right it's not right let's, let's fix that very quickly so this is wrong because we, we definitely can get out of the gap here but in order to do that it has to be like this there you go and then it's still including the shape right so it is one two including the shape which is so this one was okay well well Then we paint it with uh, the shape, and then uh, yeah, because I did, I removed that. Okay, cool. So it was wrong. Now now it's right. It's just because I want to force the scroll. Okay, so now we should be sc scrolling down, and it should be okay. I think I didn't pay attention when I tried the scroll, the vertical scroll, so I think it was broken, but I didn't care, so I thought, well, whatever. Okay, almost. And yeah, I kind of broke this because there's no way you can get out okay so but going down the scroll going down is fine there is some funny business on the top okay is it worth fixing it mm. yeah let's let's try it now okay so so oh I didn't remember that okay so that that clipping is fine I think it's a problem with the viewport viewport okay I need to change this otherwise we're not going to be able to test it right how are we going to test it if every time we fall And again, I don't really need to paint anything for it to for it to work, but let's do it just because it's easy to see. Right. Okay. So the viewport is wrong. Absolutely. The why of the viewport is wrong. Is the viewport. Is it though? Or is this one? No, I think it's going to be the viewport. We'll see. You see? I think it's the viewport. Because it should be clipping on the bot on the top, right? No, it's not the viewport. <laughs> yeah, it's a viewport. Sorry. So this is fine. Uh, it is the viewport. This one is not right. Oh, interesting, isn't it? So viewport, render viewport. Bam, 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 bam. So tie set. If we get the first of the tie set. We get the map width and map map height. Okay, that's fine. Uh, offset X, new X, offset Y, new X. Uh, I think this is kind of okay. So this, okay, so this give us the viewport. And now we receive the viewport here. But the 
think that is not quite right. No, 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 no. There is the viewport, but it's not there when it's wrong. It has to be... I don't know why I did it like this. I have never ever done it like this, but I was reading some code somewhere and I thought, oh, that's neat. And I'm changing the, I think it's better to do it like this, but obviously it's not quite working. So, and the way I'm doing it here is that this calculates the viewport, but then when I draw here, I can find it um, here. No, render visitor. Send render viewport. Render viewport. Yeah, is the render viewport the one that I'm changing? And where I'm changing that? It has to be the render. It has to have. Yeah, here. There you go. This is wrong. And actually, it's quite funny that it's here. So map rect is wrong. So x, y. I think it's wrong also in the horizontal. So it's vertical is wrong, horizontal is wrong as well. The only difference the only difference is that in the horizontal we have, let's say, natural clipping. What is the natural clipping? I'm going to show you very quickly. So the natural clipping is the border of the screen. Yay! The border of the window. Um, but on the top, it's not true. Well, on the bottom is also, there is natural clipping, right? Because it's the border of the window. Or if I go full screen, that is not going to look very nice for you right now. Uh, but it's the same. Um, so there is natural clipping because I render to a, to, a, to a texture so I can do the scaling, blah, blah, blah. And then center. So, but the problem is that on the top of the screen, if the viewport is not set properly, it has an effect because the hood is not erasing a block. So, uh, how, how can we fix this? I think it's going to be something like this. So, New Y is going to be offset Y. Ooh, ooh. What is that offset Y coming from? From maybe the offset. Okay. I think there is has to be a limit here. But this is not done right. So let's say that it's going to be, this is awful, but let's do it for now. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be, so, so this is fine. Unless, is uh, no is a minimal no uh, it has to be the max between this and the size of the hood uh, and what is the size of the hood and who knows what is the size of the hood if it's in the game, it's going to be a problem uh, because no, obviously no. It has to be the hut, the one who knows. And okay, I'm going to hard code at 16 for now. Uh, 
I see if this makes a difference. I don't know. It could be having other effects, but I think this should be just to clipping, you know, just cut the top. Okay, so at this point. <laughs> no, that's not how it should be. Ah, I don't know how this works. Uh, what does render viewport? It sets a rectangle, but no, the way I think is the way. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, it is uh, set render viewport, and that is probably in video, right? Oh, it's probably render, right? Sorry, what was the name of, of the thing we're looking at? Um, renderer viewport. Hmm. All right, okay. Uh, let's search. Can I search here? No, it's going to take me. Okay, let's try that. Now, uh, well, 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 I don't know. I thought it was in video, really. But it's not really showing me anything. Um, so you may not be here. Um, Okay, so SDL video renderer. Okay, so SDL video renderer. It has to be here. Oh, um, okay. Get to set the running area of rendering on the current target. Uh, it's not really a lot of information, is it? Set the drawing area for rendering on the current target. Exactly the same. The window size the viewport is ready to fill the entire new window size. Mm. Drawing area. Null to set the viewport to the entire target. So I don't think I'm completely wrong, really. So I think I wonder, really, shouldn't this just be always 16? I wonder, because it's always going to be... Hmm. No. I don't know how it, work, how it works. And... I don't think I can fix it. So I fixed the other bit, but... The... I fixed the horizontal, but not the vertical. I mean, so the horizontal is probably wrong as well, uh, but it's just that we can't see it. And we can't see it even when I do full screen because I'm clipping anyway with the texture I'm using. So. I mean, I didn't plan to do 
Okay, so bum, 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 bum. with the fx plus half view portal is bigger than that, then do this. Otherwise, focus x. And it's the max of uvx half view port with blah blah blah. So I don't know. And I don't know already. There must be something like this. No, because this is the offset, it's never going to be like this. It's actually a little bit slow compiling this part. Hey, Boxer Kruba, how are you doing? All right, okay. So that's absolutely wrong because, because no, I'm not going to play with the viewport anymore because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to add a to-do and it's going to be the best I can do today. So what is this is fixing is this is fixing something. So this is fix uh, horizontal rendering. Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, I thought it was less tired, but I'm a little bit tired. I'm not sure for how long I'm going to continue with the stream. I mean, it's been like one hour already. But I still haven't finished what I was trying to do. I don't know, it's Sunday. Tomorrow I don't have to work, so that's why I thought I could do a little bit of a stream, but yeah. No work tomorrow, that's a good thing. Fix horizontal rendering uh, for, uh, for 16, um, 16 tiles. The most fixes vertical too, but yeah, okay. So okay. let's take one last look. But I don't remember how the viewport works. Uh, so viewport, I don't know how it works. So and the documentation here is not the most. Amazing, is it? So, I mean, I can give you another try to see what, you know, I think I'm making a mistake here because uh, new Y, offset minus new Y. Um, so what I'm thinking is that I'm just changing the Y coordinate, but I'm not checking the the height, right? So that's definitely, that's going to be wrong. I need to change both. So... So... Blah, blah, blah. No, that's another one. So... Okay. So then my viewport, so we get the player coordinates, then we call viewport. Aha, aha, I see, I see what is the, the problem here. So there is an offset, oh, offset Y, offset Y is giving us the height of the hood of the you know the over how is this called head hood is head is a display something yeah so that's we say in order is it has to be the okay so we have to have 16 pixels on top and so okay 
Ok, ok, ok. Ok, I know what it is. Aha. Think. Get out. Tips to learn Haskell. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think the best advice I can give you with uh, learning Haskell, because I'm learning Haskell as well. So that's why I'm making this game, right? So the best advice I can give you is that... Uh, uh, look at that. <laughs> it's completely broken now. Uh, it's probably that, you know, just use one thing at a time, I would say. Um, you know, you don't need to use all the Haskell all the time, I think. Uh, so, I mean, if you want to look at applicatives and functors because you want to do something specific with that, go for it. Uh, but, yeah. Sometimes the level of... of... Um, abstractions you can get with with Haskell might distract you from what you really want to do I think um, you know there are also books you can read a book but yeah those concepts uh, applicatives and functors they're simpler than they look but I think it doesn't help that you know they use uh, naming conventions and stuff from mathematics that makes everything weird like um, you know, what is a functor? You know, it's something that you can map, right? It's easy to understand sometimes, but anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to fix my viewport here, which is nothing to be with, it has nothing to do with Haskell, I suspect. It's just that I'm not very familiar with SDL. And yeah, I, when I implemented this, I don't think I. Oh, you need to learn for a, for an exam. Yeah, that's a different matter, really. <laughs> because it's not only that you need to learn that, but also you need to learn learn it in a way that you can explain it in the exam, right? Which is different than just using things. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not completely sure what I'm doing wrong here. The only thing you can do is read this again. So the new Y is going to be the minimal of the focus on Y plus half the viewport. If this is bigger than my head, then yeah, because we are on the yeah the limit on the bottom, right? Otherwise, hmm. Otherwise, it's going to be, wait a minute, uh, hate and win. So, yeah, it's going to be this the problem, really. So, gain hate minus the half, the hood, right? And I wonder. I wonder if I can just Okay. Um Now, I don't know. I need to review all this and, and see why 
I, why when I made this, it made so much sense and I, I don't remember how it works anymore. So basically, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to add an out and I will look at it again. Which is fine. I mean, I didn't plan to do, um, vertical scroll. Anyway, wait a minute. I did, I saw something funny in there. Oh, because I was jumping into the... Yeah, I mean, now it renders fine. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, let's reset the map. And then add a node here, perhaps. So... Anyway, cool. So what a shame because I haven't even started to deploy an enemy. Uh, let me think. Okay, so let's do let's do something because I have the the I have the. Um, the sprite already, already in the sprite sheet, but I'm going to do a just I want to know if it looks kind of okay because I haven't tried it. So let me use it for the slime so we can take a look. <laughs> it looks good, I like it. Yeah, because I was drawing this afternoon. And I didn't know if it was, I mean, it's quite a small, but that was, so this is sprite here. I have replaced the, the sprite of the slime with, with the sprite of the flying enemy. And I think it looks okay. Um, yeah, so it has to be small. It has to be 16 by 16, because if I do it bigger, um, it may force me to to do the level design differently but in this way you know it can move you know like the slime I would probably go into yeah no it doesn't even need to be centered I mean just like like the way it is working now but for example it should be possible for it to keep going over the water and and change level go up and down Probably with a simple pattern doing some bouncing. So yeah, it looks okay. Let me see full screen, although you might not see that probably. Oh, it looks great. I like it. I mean, it's kind of cute, it's smallish, but yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I'm not completely sure about some of the stuff here, but for example, but maybe Um, yeah, but because I made the, yeah, it doesn't look great now. Yeah, and basically I can spend the rest of the night just tweaking this, this tiny sprite. There you go. Uh... Um, I don't know. I mean, the, the, the way it was before, I didn't like it, so, but that doesn't look better. Oh, okay. Looks okay now. 
Yeah. I mean, the animation is, the timing is, and everything is the same as the slime at the moment. So... It's okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to commit at least the sprites. So I don't make a mistake and I delete something, right? Cool. Well, yeah, less than I was expecting to do, but anyway, uh, I found a new bug and I fixed it. So, yeah, I mean, that means that this needs a little bit more testing in general, I would say. But for now, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, I mean, that's that side now. Oh, so the water now it, it renders fine. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, it's a shame with the viewport I will look at it again when I have some time because I don't know it could be interesting to do yeah one thing I have noticed and I'm not a big fan now is that it may so okay it may because the checkpoint ID. So okay. Let's let's try the checkpoint. Well, if I no if I not kill you really. Okay, again. So for example I set a checkpoint here and then I go Yeah, I don't like that too much. So the checkpoint is or in a different uh, viewport so when we do the respawn the camera moves over there maybe we can smooth that so smooth Maybe. Yeah, we probably want to do that. Because it looks a little bit not, not great. Although it's not the end of the world, really. But in reality, you can have the checkpoint really far away, right? Like there. No, no, not like there. something like that anyway cool uh, and that's going to be all for today um see you next time bye bye